let's talk about the dimensions of components on the screen. So let's import the view component from React Native. Now, in our safe area view, let's add a view. We give it a style. Let's set the background color to Dodger Blue. I'm going to give this a width of 150 and a height of 70. Now, these numbers we have here are density independent pixels or dips. The actual size equals density independent pixels times scale factor of the device. For example, iPhone 4 can display 320 by 480 points. These points are abstract units, they're not pixels. Now, the scale factor of iPhone 4 is 2 or 2x. That means every point contains 2 pixels. So the screen resolution of iPhone 4 equals 640 by 960 pixels. Now, if the width of our view is 150 density independent pixels or dips, its actual width on an iPhone 4 will equal 150 times 2, which is 300 pixels. That is roughly around half of the screen width, right? Now, in contrast, iPhone 11 Pro Max can display 414 by 896 points. With a scale factor of 3, here's the screen resolution of iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, what is the width of our view on this iPhone? It is 150 times 3 equals 450 pixels. So again, it's roughly around half of the screen width. Roughly, not exactly. In fact, our view looks a little bit smaller on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, don't worry about memorizing any of these numbers. They don't matter. What matters is that by expressing the size of our components in density independent pixels, we can feel relaxed that they look almost the same size across different devices. Now, if you want to make sure that this width is exactly half of the screen width, we can use a percentage value here. So we replace 150 by 50%. Make sure to put this in quotes because this is a string value. Now, save. So here's our view. It's taken exactly half of the screen. Now, in some situations, you want to fine tune the size of a component according to the size of the screen. In those cases, we can use the Dimensions API. So on the top, we import Dimensions from React Native. Now, let's log dimensions.get. Here we should pass a string that can be either window or screen. Screen returns the size of the entire screen, whereas window returns the size of the visible application window. On iOS, these dimensions are equal. They're only different on Android. So the window size is a bit smaller than the screen size. So I'm going to pass screen here. Now save. Look at the terminal. So here you can see the width and the height of this iPhone, as well as its scale factor. So every point on this iPhone has three pixels. So this is how we can get the dimensions of the device using the Dimensions API. Now, the problem with this API is that it doesn't respond to orientation changes. So if the user rotates the device, these numbers don't get updated. We'll talk about how to handle that in the next lesson.